Hi guys, hello and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about what news agencies in the West are reporting. Um, they are reporting the decision by the US government to continue selling weapons to Taiwan. But this time around they're going to be using the Ukraine budget, uh, the Ukraine scheme. So let's talk about that. I'm going to skip the simple and basic affront to the sovereignty of the People's Republic of China and to the sanctity of internationally agreed and accepted uh, principles like the One China Policy or uh, the communiques. We all know that America will make and will continue to change the rules for as long as the world accepts its hegemony. Instead, I want to dive into what it means for Taiwanese people, for American people, even those living in China, and China itself. This new scheme basically gives weapons to Taiwan as opposed to sell weapons to Taiwan. There is no need for the taxpayer to front the money in order to pay for the weapons that the DPP wants to buy on behalf of them. Good thing that there's an election coming soon. Now America will just send what they think Taiwan needs and they will settle this tab afterwards. This has several repercussions, so let's start with the first one. American taxpayers are now financing the weaponization of the Taiwan question, even those living in China. So you're paying for weapons that might destroy the country where you live. Congress and the Biden administration can now arrange for more money to be funneled to the MIC in order to manufacture and send weapons to Taiwan. You, the taxpayer, have no say in whatsoever when it comes to how much uh, or what type of weapons are actually sent. The Ukraine money scheme that the laundry scheme has actually been duplicated and set in motion in Taiwan. Now remember that all members of Congress in America receive bribes and donations from military industrial complex MIC, so there will be zero incentive to stop this new money-making machine. The second repercussion is that, well, the weapons sent to Ukraine, just like the, the ones sent to Taiwan, will need to be repaid at one point. The Ukraine scheme mainly accelerates the delivery of those weapons because the recipient does not need to pay for them up front. That's all it is. It's a, it's a big you owe me blank check that the US writes to these places on behalf of them. A huge problem towards the future because while well, it is easy for the US to, to print US dollars whenever they need and, and get countries to buy their debt, any country that owes money to America must sell something that they want in order to obtain those US dollars. So when America comes collecting and Taiwan struggles to repay, the U.S. will want pieces of the treasure or the resources from these lands. U.S. will demand sale of entities that they wish to control, of course, like the chips. Or much like the repo man in America, they will just come and grab it. Think about the Iraqi gold, think about Syrian oil, think the, the Russian funds, think the, the Afghanistan funds that were seized. Never think for a second that America is looking after the parties that it engages with. It's, it's the truth. And the third issue that derives from the second is the future reunification of Taiwan. If and when that happens, the hurdle will be that American companies own strategic pieces of Taiwan infrastructure, like the ones that they force them to sell. So peaceful reunification will get more difficult. It will be very difficult to get the U.S. to relinquish, relinquish those possessions, so be, reunification becomes more complicated. So this is a scheme that was okayed by the stroke of a pen, not really the will of the American people, is going to affect the region in many more ways than I can list in this short video. But yeah, I just wanted to throw a couple of ideas out there for you guys to think about it. So keep an eye open for this space, this channel, as the situation develops. And as always, like, comment, and share to get a different angle on China started raining so until i see you again take it easy and bye for now